If that's all you got to say for that performance, let me take the headphones off and let's get into the review of the Leeds United 3 Norwich City 2 game. Oh my God, you just have to breathe after that. You just have to breathe after that. Ooh, let me just... Because that was a roller coaster of a match. It started off shaky and really bad. Four minutes in, a corner gets whipped in. I don't know whose bolt it is. I actually don't know whose bolt it is. But but Duffy gets so easily, he easily gets to the front stick before anyone. The head is into the near post. It's a poor thing to concede, you know, from a set piece. Like, and as a set piece was being take, like, taken, I think it was that one or might have been the one before. I was like, oh, we're good from set pieces now. I'm not worried. We just conceded from one then. Um, and then that kind of got me worried for the rest of the game every time they got a set piece, you know. But they scored that goal and you're like, oh, no, we're 1-0 down. And you're like, oh, no, 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 no. The second goal. Can we talk about the second goal? What is Kamara doing? What is Kamara doing in that situation? He kind of just stands there and doesn't even try to tackle him. He gets beat. And then I think Strout gets beat. But, like, if Kamara tries to make the tackle, he doesn't get past. He doesn't get into that opportunity to just hit it in the back of the net. And we're 2-0 down in 43 minutes. Go to halftime, 2-0 down. We make zero subs at halftime, you know. And I'm like, oh, my God, made zero subs at halftime. They make a sub in the 61st minute. I'm like, why are we not making subs? We need to make a sub. Fuck, you're leaving it too late. You're leaving it too late. Make a sub. And then Dan James gets on the end of a ball by Rutter, who plays him through. And then he takes a terrible touch. Can we firstly talk about that touch? Terrible. But it's able to get his speed. He's quick enough to be able to get to the ball before it goes out. Keep it in with a whip across. It's, I think it's come off the keeper. The keeper saved it, and then it's hit the defender and gone in the back of the net. It's hit Duffy and gone in the back of the net. So he scored a goal and gone own goal. So they hit the keeper. I'm pretty sure the keeper saved it on the way through, and then it bounced off Duffy and went in. So Dan James, well done. Well, I think I think Dan James in that second half, like I think Dan James wasn't terrible in this game. I thought he was actually decent. I thought he, I thought first half he wasn't that good in my opinion. But he was looking dangerous in that second half. Though he was really dangerous in the second half. Um, as always, after that. 70th minute, we've been non to one and Bamford, and I'm like, yes, subs, subs. Crescencio Somerville with that goal. He just, he gets it on the edge. He whips it around. Bang, top corner. Can we talk about how great that finish was? Somerville's back, baby. He's back on the goal scoring. And what a goal it was. Straight in the top corner. Can we talk about that play that was almost one of the best goals of the season? You could have put it down to, that could have been this month's goal of the month. The play between Rutter and Bamford. It was like the ball came forward to Bamford. Bamford fakes hitting the ball and leaves it for Rutter. He gets the ball, gives it back to Rutter. Rutter gives it back to Bamford. And then Bamford beats. He tried to take it on his left and then on his right again. What he's trying to do is hit the left foot, hit the right foot and beat the beat the defender that was there and then hit it with his left. But the defender's able to get a foot before he's able to get it back onto his left. Um, so, oh my god, but that when he, if he was able to actually get his foot back onto the left and hit down the bottom corner, goal of the month already. It would have been an unbelievable goal, but that moment happened. I thought Bamford was good when he came on, you know. People might hammer him, but he had a couple of chances, you know, and I think he should have scored really. Like, I remember he hit one from outside the box with like zero power. I'm like, where's the power gone, Bamford? Where's your power gone? But I'm happy that he's, you know. It's building confidence if he just keeps hitting the target because at one time, if he just keeps hitting the target, it's going to go in. So that's a good thing. Anyway, let's move on um, and talk about the players later. I'm not going to talk about Bumper because he's not going to be in the play range. I don't think. I'm not going to give him a rating. Um, but yeah, they make subs. Adam Forshaw comes on. We miss you, Forshaw. We love you, Forshaw. Um, um, including at the end when you tried to hit a strike from outside the box and you missed. And thank you, Forshaw. <laughs> um, anyway, Stummerville's goal. Oh, he gets on the... I can't remember. I think it was Bamford. I think Bamford won the header into Rutter. If I'm getting this right, Bamford won the header into Rutter. Rutter fizzed the ball through. Some of you got on the end of it. Chase, run, 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 run. Bang. Finishes it. And we're three, two up in the world. We're going, I'm going crazy. I'm like, oh my God, what a comeback. Three, two. We managed to hold it out. The game management from bringing on Liam Cooper and Luke Ayling for Pirro and some of you just to hold us up with a five back. I got nervous towards the end, especially when Luke Allen gave away a free kick. But nothing matters because we got the win. We showed we can come back in games. I mean, we've already known we can come back in games, but we've shown we got resilience. And that's three wins in a row, baby. Anyway, now let's get on to the player ratings. Now, Elam Elliott, I don't think he was at fault for either of the goals, by the way. The first goal is like just defenders should do better from a corner. The second goal, Kamara should do better and not just watch him get part jump, just skip right through him. Um, so... 
Melia, I'm going to give a six. Don't think it was bad. Don't think it was great. Um, Archie Gray. Now, Archie Gray kind of got beat a lot in the first half. This is what I say. He got beat a lot in the first half, and he was getting destroyed in the first half. I think he was getting cooked in that first half. That second half, he changed. That second half, he looked way better on the pitch. Way better in that second half. I'm going to give him a 6.5. I think he looked really good in that second half. The first half, he was a bit iffy. He was getting beat a lot out wide, and he was getting they were getting over in behind him a lot of the time, a, bunch, a couple of times. Rodon, I thought, played really well. I'm actually going to give him a 6 point. I'm going to give him a... I'll give him a 7. I think I think Rodon did really well. I'll give him a 7. And Strauch as well, I thought, did well as well. I'll give him a 7 as well. It's the same thing. Like, Rodon and Strauch do well, so well together. You can't split their ratings. Well, for me, other people will have a difference, but I can't split their ratings. Sam Barham, I thought, had a good performance. I don't think he was amazing. I thought he was... Good performance. Okay, I'll give him a good performance. 6.5, I'll give him. Glenn Kamara, I don't know. Um, Glenn Kamara, I'll give a 6.5 as well because he did that, he does that fold for the second goal, but I thought he did really well when he picked up the ball and played a couple of nice passes around, um, and I thought he also did pretty well um, just making tackles besides that one. I thought he wasn't bad at all. So 6.5, Ethan Ampadu, I'm going to give a 7.5. I thought he was amazing out there. I thought he played really well, showed a lot. Defended really well, like he always does. And we know the standard of Ethan Ampadu. I'll give him a 7.5. I'll actually give him a 7.5. I just thought of that. 7.5 given to Ethan Ampadu. Next up, let's go to Dan James. Now, Dan James, he does frustrate you because that's the way he plays. He frustrates you because he makes mistakes and he makes he might run the ball too far or he might just run straight into a defender. But he's always dangerous is what I've got to give him. He's always dangerous. He's the reason we came back in the first place with that first goal. So I'm going to have to give him a 7. I thought he was good. I don't think he was as bad as people say. I thought he does annoy people. That's the point of him. Like, the way he plays, it does annoy some fans. A lot of fans, I think it annoys because he makes some errors, but he always just keeps on going and keeps on going and keeps on going. That's what I got to, That's what I love about him. He just keeps going and keeps going. So, yeah, give him a 7. Good performance. Now, Joel Pirro, I'm going to give him a 5.5. I thought he was poor. I didn't see him much in the game at all. I'm not going to lie. Did not see him in the game at all. Um. Anyway, yeah, can we move on from Piro? Because he was so poor in that game. Let's move on to Crescencio Somerville. My man of the match. I'm going to give him an 8.5. He was amazing. Scored two goals out of the three for the comeback. Scored the second goal and the third goal. You know, great two goals. Taken well. I just wish I would have given him a nine. If only he just let... There was some times where we could have been in other times, but he just doesn't pass. He, like, he holds it too long, or he be, be selfish, and he doesn't let the pass go. But good performance, 8.5. Chris Hensio, Sonneville, Somerville, my man of the match. Now, Joel Pirro, I thought was good as well. I'll give him a 7.5. I thought he played really well as well, but because I always think Joel Pirro is, I mean, sorry, Rutter, he's always good. He, the skills he's got on him, you know, as I mentioned before, the play between him and Bamford, where they played the one-twos like twice and almost went in, that's the stuff that he does well. And I think... If, if we can get that link up, if we can get Bamford scoring and just get that little link up, I think that could work because that was a really good link up player. If we could see that more often as well, if, you know, Bamford starts playing more or comes off the bench, starts coming off the bench and um looks more confident game in, game out, and we see more of that 1-2 playing, we're going to score a goal like that this season where Bamford and Rutter go 1-2, one, 1-2, two, one, two, bang, and we're in, we score. That's going to happen this season, mark my words. But, yeah, great performance all around from Jorginho Rutter. As I said, 7.5. Actually, I'll give him an 8, okay? No, 7.5, sorry, sorry, no, 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 7.5. I thought Rutter, yeah, yeah, I'll give him a 7.5, sorry. Uh, but yeah, great performance all around. Um, Again, Daniel Fark left his subs too late. Even though we won, I still feel he should have brought some subs on a bit earlier. But we got the win, so it doesn't really matter. Um, I'm so happy for that. Three in a row, baby! We're coming for the top. We're going for top two, baby. We're coming for them. Thanks for watching the video. If you like the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And in the comment section, tell me your player ratings. Tell me who your man of the match was. And thanks for watching. I'll catch you, I'll catch you in the next time. Peace.